when I was asked to speak, I agreed right away. Two weeks ago in Cornwall, we woke up to yellow skies. We were impacted by a forest fire in Quebec. When you have a disaster of this nature in the Gulf of Mexico, this is going to hit all of us. And people talk about boycotting. They, they, they scream, they, they're angry. Mostly, I think what people are is afraid. They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of the lies that they've been told by governments and by corporations. BP is a corporation. BP does what's best for itself. For 20 years, the lawyers for the Exxon Valdez tragedy have appealed to the point where very little has been done. If we don't learn from our mistakes, we repeat them. You can only pay to have things cleaned up that can be cleaned up. There's going to be damage from this accident that can never be cleaned up. I don't blame BP. I don't blame the government. I blame everybody that's at this and that everybody that hears this. The only way we're going to ever have change is if we take a new approach. And that's going to take time. It's not going to happen for one protest rally. So there was blame? All of us. It's going to take a lot of little actions. I say evolution, not revolution. Don't boycott BP. Take your RSP money and buy shares in BP and companies like that. If you want to make a change, get people to get involved. This is a great rally today, and I'm really amazed to see how many people are here today. But I don't see a lot of people here under 40 years of age. Young people have to get involved. It's your future. It's your planet. It's your children's. You are the future of our country and our world. And if you want to make change happen, it has to start in the schools. It has to start in the streets. It has to start in the coffee shops. And it's not going to happen until each one of you realize that your vote counts, your life counts, your voice counts, and you have to make change. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you for giving me this opportunity to speak. And hopefully I will see more of you on the campaign trail as the federal election heats up. Hopefully we can talk about more of these issues instead of some of the banal issues that we've talked about in election campaigns. What matters is our earth. If we have no air to breathe, if we have no water to drink, we're not going to survive. So one step at a time, one voice at a time, one vote at a time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie.